That was a very touching speech. Happy Thanksgiving, Ryan. So what are you gonna do? Hey, what, you gonna kill me and kidnap Greenwood? Both great ideas. You're gonna have to get through me first. <laughs> What did you do? Is he dead yet? I knocked the gun out of his hand, and, 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 and we were fighting. We ended up on the ledge, and then... Oh, God. I'm going to take this gun. Just let me have it. Tell me what happened. He had to help Ryan. We just lost Zach because of David. I couldn't let David... Not again. Even if it meant... Okay. Are you all right? How's he? He's losing a lot of blood. A lot. I've got a gunshot wound. Ed. What's the address here? Uh, 450, 450. 450 Old, old Cedar, Lane. Cedar Lane. We're up on the roof. Don't die on me, you son of a bitch. You are not going to get off this easy. He said she was hungry. I'm sure I'll be back soon. Oh, hi. Women carrying pumpkin mousse pie are usually met with a touch more enthusiasm. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Great. That's great. Come on in. <laughs> hey, pie. Hey there, honey bunch. <laughs> hey, um... Do you mind watching Emma for a few minutes? I, I just have to check on something. Oh, it'd be my pleasure. Maybe I'll join you in the slides, huh? <laughs> and I'll be right back. Is uh, everything okay? Everything's great. Where's uh, Jack and uh, Ryan? The boys seem to have deserted us. Right, Emma? Yeah. Maybe we should have dessert while we wait. Get it? <laughs> I do get it, and aren't you clever? Why, well, you just run right along, wrangle up those boys. We'll have the pie waiting for you when you get back, huh? Thank you. <laughs> hey. You're working? Yes. You know, Thanksgiving ranks right up there with Christmas in terms of family time. When you canceled the big dinner because of Zach, I thought I'd take advantage of it and get some work done. Well, you had other options. Like what? Inviting the brat over so we could fight over a wishbone? To start? To start? No, I really got to get this done. Look, I know Asher blames you for his mother's death. But maybe you could talk to him, explain <laughs> what happened. No, no, trust me, it's better this way. Better for whom? 
I spent 20 years trying to put this behind me, not just for myself, but for him, too. What if he doesn't want to put it behind him? What if he wants to know? Let me ask you something. Do you think my telling him that his mother ran off with Adam Chandler is going to make anything better? Adam. Adam took her away from you. Well, I... I don't care if you talk to me, but... He's not a kid anymore. He'll understand. <laughs> he needs somebody to blame. Well, it seems to me that Adam is the one who tore your family apart. I can't tell him about Adam without telling him about his mother. The kid needs a fall guy. I'm willing to be it. Kitchen stuff. There's only like two and a half Chandler's living in this house. You know, I think they can make so much so they can take a leftover. <laughs> yeah, but AJ, he totally loved it. I mean, he ate twice his weight in sweet potatoes. Hi, what are you doing here? I thought I lived here too. Have you been around all day? We would have invited you to our holiday feast. I thought you were going to your friends. Kendall. Yeah, that was the plan. Her husband had an accident. He didn't make it. Well. Wow. Sorry. Have you had any turkey? There's plenty left over. Uh, Thanksgiving's not really a big deal to me. Oh, really? Uh, dessert's a big deal for you, Asher? Pumpkin pie? You've got five kinds. You can have one all yourself. That's all right. Did he just turn down pie? I think so. Yeah, you guys go ahead. Now, your family, Asher. We're not going to take no for an answer. <laughs> Isn't that right, Colby? No, well, if Asher's got things to do, he's got things to do. We really shouldn't keep him. I guess I could eat. Ah, that's the spirit. <laughs> you know, it's been a lot quieter around here. I have to say, it's been a damn good holiday without the old man around. What? How could you say that? Oh, come on, Colby. No drama, no games, no dad thanking his second in command for giving him his due and then demanding more the next year. No, I totally miss dad. Just things haven't been the same since he left. Yeah, well, you're right. It's been better. Why? Because you get to sit at the head of the table, is that why? <laughs> I don't think Asher wants to hear us fight about the great Adam Chandler. Hey, go ahead. I've got nothing else to do. He's losing a lot of blood, Jack. Paramedics are on their way, Ryan. Just keep pressure on it. Look, I had to call in a gunshot wound. That means the police are on their way here. I need you to talk to me. I need you to tell me what happened, why you were here, what you saw, why you fired this weapon. What all happened so fast? Well, when I think about it, it was it was as if it was in slow motion. I know. I know. Listen, just... Just take your time and do the best you can, okay? Why were you even here, honey? I had just left Kendall and the boys. And I wanted to see you. And I thought you'd be here with... with Greenlee and, and, and Ryan. But when I got to the building, I saw David go in. So why did you come up to the roof? Because I saw the elevator. I saw where it stopped. Okay. So you come up to the roof. You come through that door. What do you see? They were fighting. David was about to push Ryan over. Okay. You should just take a breath. And so I, I saw the gun, and I, and I picked it up, and I fired. I had to. I had to save Ryan. I know, honey. Right, and that's everything, right? Yes. Okay, okay, look, just when the police get here, just let me do the talking. Where the hell are the paramedics? Huh? Greenlee. Oh, my no, God. No, 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 no. Ryan, are you okay? I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. It's David. It's David. Come on, you shouldn't be here. Oh Ryan. Ryan's fine. He just told you that. Listen to me. I want you to go to the apartment. I want you to stay there. The police are on their way. Come I'm on. not going anywhere until someone tells me what the hell happened. I couldn't let Kendall's little boys lose another parent. 